Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a simple way and just a quick breakdown of manipulating RNG in Mother 3. So getting into a battle here. So luckily there's no RNG to even have to worry about in terms of the overworld. All the RNG for battle stuff happens in the battle. So here's what you want to do. Alright, so I've gotten this pig mass kernel down to if one more hit lands on him, he's gone. So let's see what happens. Nothing. He usually, not usually, rarely will drop the cloak, the awesome cloak, which is an ultimate equip for Lucas. So let's try to get that. Unlike in Earthbound, where enemy item drops are decided before the battle even starts, in Mother 3 they're decided at the very end of the battle. And it all comes down to how often this cursor was on an enemy. So simply, the easiest way to manipulate RNG in order to get any item you want in Mother 3 is to simply get the enemy down to one hit left and then make a save stay at this point and press the attack icon to put the cursor on the enemy or you could do it with your character's special abilities, doesn't matter which, or by use of some sort of offensive item, it doesn't matter as long as a cursor lands on the enemy. Then do it. Now, as you'll see, things already slightly changed because Duster did a different amount of damage. And now, no item. But you can just do that, and then, once you load your state, put the cursor on one more time like you did last time, then another time for two now. Alright, that was four. And the enemy left a present, and there's a king burger. Oh yeah, I forgot I could drop this as well. <laughs> So only me thinking I got a cloak of kings. Anyway, that's simply how you manipulate RNG in Mother 3 in terms of getting items. It's as simple as that. Just keep pushing the cursor on and off of the enemy until you get the desired item. Or whichever result you're looking for. Now, the second part to this is just generally manipulating RNG. General RNG in battles is actually manipulated in pretty much the same way. It just really comes down to you constantly picking different options. I do not believe it's affected by general cursor movements. I believe it's more affected by simply picking the option in a soft way, so to speak, and then picking something. For example, I did that. And the big mass kernel did bum rush. Now, if I reload this state, open the goods menu a few times, even attempt to use an item on something, and then attack. He instead used a PSI shield device. Thank you for watching. If you want to check out how to do this in Earthbound, check out the video linked in the description. Thanks for watching.